John would again and again emphasize the power of the grass roots, or in John's words, the grass roots, um, and would say, no, this is, this is democracy devolves. Um, this is where the fabric of society is, is woven, and this is where democracy is played out um, in the power of the grass roots. And that the, the investment really is in generating community from the ground up, and it's not the role of government to uh, direct it from above. So that was one of just really understanding what I've come to call the local advantage and how government and power at the local level is very different than it is at the state and federal levels or global levels. It's a different issue, different resources. The second lesson John taught me was um, think about the broad investment when it comes to youth. He was very committed to youth and to young people and saw them as really the resource for community building. But he said, you've got to go beyond those institutional boundaries. It's not about schools, and it's not about health, and it's not about little silos that have youth moving through them. And the role of a gardener center, the role of youth policy, really is to look across those institutional, institutional boundaries. And the third point, um, the third lesson that John taught me didn't take much time to learn. It was about the role of a university and especially a university like Stanford, he really felt deeply that there was a moral responsibility that a Stanford had to the community. And he felt it needed to be a reciprocity and a partnership, not an unequal power relationship. Um, this is what the Gardner Center is about, really, is this kind of reciprocal, mutual partnership with local communities. I really think Gardner, your grandfather wouldn't have gotten very excited about a John Gardner Center for Research <laughs> on communities or on youth, but he was very enthusiastic and supportive about youth and their communities in this embedded, embedded sense. <laughs>